go outside? <laughs> Come on then. Come on then. Oh my god, oh my god. Come on then. <laughs> okay, wait. 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 Go outside. Hi friends. So I thought I would try another vlog. I really enjoyed the last vlog, so I thought I would do another one. I have another chill day today. Um, but I am going and doing a couple little things. I think I'm gonna take myself to Barnes and Noble, which is really exciting. But first I'm going to make my morning matcha latte, which I've been making a bunch. So for my matcha latte, <laughs> I do like a lightly packed tablespoon of brown sugar and I melt it with like that much water basically to make like a syrup. Obviously, depending on how sweet you would want it, you can adjust this. Because I like it pretty sweet lightly packed tablespoon of sugar and then i just finished my um, matcha that i've had for a while and this is the one that i got just off of amazon and it's good so in my little purple blender that my aunt got me for christmas i do oat milk and i go up to the six ounce line which is like between 150 and 200 milliliters. <laughs> there six ounces of the milk. And I want the sugar to start melting. So I'm gonna put the warm water. Then I do a teaspoon of matcha in the milk. And then I blend it. I blend it twice. <laughs> I don't think it needs to be blended twice. Um, but in my head, it makes the oat milk frothier, so. Sunshine, do you want to go on a walk? <laughs> do you want to go on a walk? Do you want to go on a walk? Well, let's go. Come on. Okay, I just finished up Barnes & Noble and honestly, there are like so many other books that I wanted to get, but I have this thing where I look up the books on Amazon and then I check them at Barnes & Noble and if Barnes & Noble is only like two to three dollars more than Amazon, then I will buy them in Barnes & Noble because I don't want it to close down. Um, but the like three books I was looking at were like 10, 12 dollars more than on Amazon. So I left them, but I did get two. Hi, bestie. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Where are my slippers? Where are my slippers? Oh, interesting. 
interesting. Did you collect mommy's slippers? You Swedish boy. Well, here's what I got while I was out. <laughs> I went to Barnes & Noble and I got this. This is like a YA mystery thriller and this is a fantasy, I think. And then we need a deodorant. I needed more oat milk because of all my lattes. I haven't bought Pringles since probably elementary school, but I've been watching a lot of Sarah Caroli, so consider me influenced. And then I got cheese. Also, remember when I got out of Barnes & Noble and I was like, oh, there were more books I wanted that I didn't get? Yeah. These are all my TBR. <laughs> That's dramatic, Simon. So while I'm waiting for my lunch to cool down, I thought that I would give a little knitting update. So I am still working on the cupla or cupla from the 52 weeks of Easy Knits or Simple Knits book, but I ran out of yarn. And not only did I run out of yarn, I shipped the rest of the yarn to my parents' house instead of my house. So I have to go and get that, but I am still working on the front panel. And then when I ran out of that yarn, I picked up, I'm scared I'm gonna lose the needle, this long standing whip, who was in a retirement for a little while, but this is the Nell or Nelly sweater by Gregoria Fibers, I'm pretty sure. And I started, <laughs> Simon just started playing with his toys. I started knitting this months ago. Um, and so I finished the ribbing last night and I started the bind off. And then my other knit is a pair of thick Sunday socks for a family friend. So I am using Lion Brand Respun 100% recycled polyester yarn in this navy blue colorway. And I have one done and I've just been for like an hour a day maybe two hours a day working on these socks to hopefully get them done for this coming Saturday so yeah that's that's my little knitting update <laughs> Simon, where's your stick? Where's your stick? Oh, where's your stick? Hi! Go get your stick! Go get your stick! You better go get it! You better go get it! Yes, good boy! It's right there! You can do it, I believe in you. It's right there. She shouldn't be here. You should never have brought her home. Enough of this. 
Okay, I think I'm going to try to make or start a loaf of sourdough bread because we are out of bread and I need it for two upcoming meals this week. Last time I made it, I, because the house has been so cold, it's not rising very well overnight like it typically does. So last time I made it, I put it kind of in front of the little fireplace heater that we have because the bottom is where the heat comes out and it rose like really quickly and so I'm thinking I might do that and it might rise quick enough for me to be able to bake it tonight instead of tomorrow because the whole the whole thing is not wanting to leave it overnight which I should have started this process earlier but I didn't so we'll just see and if I have to do it tomorrow I'll do it tomorrow but my scale important and then this is the book that I use for all my sourdough. I've made quite a few recipes from here, but my go-to is just the like, I found this book from the ladies at Legacy Fiber Arts. I'm pretty sure I saw Chelsea post about it first, but then I also saw Sue post that she got it. And um, so I got it. <laughs> oh. So unless my starter is looking really rough, I always use it straight out of the fridge and I essentially use the discard for my active starter and I've never had any problems. So that's what I'm going to do. It does call for warm water, so I'm letting some water warm right now. Bread flour. So while the water is still heating, I'm just going to scoop out the starter that I need. I'm pretty sure that the author of this book has, I mean, I'm not pretty sure, I know for a fact she has a blog with a lot of free sourdough recipes and tips. Um, I don't know if this exact recipe is on the blog or not, but I highly recommend checking it out just in case because I think it's great. So I get the starter that I need and then I do discard a bit more from my jar before I replenish. So now that the water is warm, I will add the water. the bowl that has the starter in it mm. well, that's okay and then I just use a fork to whisk it together until it's like pretty combined okay from there I put in the bread flour I always do that Ugh always over pour. Okay, not too bad. Two scoops over. Then I will leave this out. I don't always replenish my starter with bread flour. Sometimes I just use normal flour. But my starter, I've been on a bit of a rescue mission with it, so I want to give it some like quality flour. Let me get my salt. The only salt we have is ground. <laughs> And you need nine grams of salt for this recipe. My arms get pumped every time I do this. I was just gonna say, wow, that's the first time I didn't get pumped. I just did. And then basically, I just mix this into a dough and then I let it sit for 30 minutes. And then I, you don't really need it, but you kind of do that thing where you fold the edges into the center to kind of make it a bit more taut. And then you leave it we were supposed to leave it for like 10 hours, but I kind of just eyeball it to see if it's risen enough. I know there's science behind bread and baking in general, and I am definitely still a sourdough newbie, but here's the thing. I don't care enough about messing up this bread to not try to just bake it once I think visually it's risen enough. 
So that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> okay, here's the dough. So I'm gonna put the lid over the bowl now, set a timer for 30 minutes, feed my starter, put it all in front of the heater, and go from there. Under the heater it goes. So here is, ah, where's my fork? Here's the consistency that I am going with today and we shall see if it rises. <laughs> trying to do this one-handed but you get the gist <laughs> can you hear that my neighbor is playing music so loud and the bass is up so high <laughs> that I like maybe I'm being dramatic but I feel like I can't hear my own tv over the bass because it is just Okay, well, it's like 7.15, and I've just been editing some of this vlog, hence my blue light glasses. Um, and I was going to make pizza for dinner, but I haven't even heard from my boyfriend Chris on when he's coming home. So, maybe no pizza tonight, and I'm starving. So, I'm gonna have to figure out something to eat. <laughs> Jen, this is for you. If you're watching this, lol about the plug. <laughs> we do have some three prongers though. See? Okay, well here's how much my starter has risen. It was there, now it's there. So I'm pretty happy with that. And here's my loaf. I'm gonna preheat the oven now and then bake it.